What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movies slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I will be making a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So in today's video, we're going to be building the Lamborghini Countach LP400S from the movie The Cannonball Run. An absolutely fantastic film with arguably one of the best opening scenes in a car related movie, especially for a movie that was released in 1981. Now the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is obviously the Pegasi Torero. Now this car is mainly based on the 25th anniversary Countach, so unfortunately not the earlier Countach like the one from the movie, which I personally prefer, but still the closest we have in game. This car can be found on the Legendary Motorsport website for just under a million dollars, which does seem a bit expensive, but honestly it has a unique interior with some great details, so honestly I think it's worth its price tag. Also something I want to mention, this car normally comes with a black interior and there's no way to normally change it. However, for those of you who do merge glitches, you can in fact change the interior color of the Torero by merging a car that has a custom interior color onto it, and that's how you can get the interior to be the light brown, which is closer to the interior from the Countach in the movie. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the builds for the Cannonball Run Countach. Alright, Cannonball Run Countach, let's do it. So as usual for all these builds, I like to do full armor and performance mods, so we'll do 100% armor there. Same thing with the brakes. Um, front bumpers, so the closest is going to be the stock front bumper. Um, these just aren't close at all, definitely the stock as it has uh, some of the vents, even though they're not exactly in the right place, but it is still the closest out of the three. Rear bumpers, um, the car did not have any diffusers, so I'll leave that stock. Um, continuing to the bodywork, you have the headlight covers. Um, these, I mean, to me, I, I don't think they work. There's a headlight duct, um, and this one just, just looks very weird. I think the closest, at least in my opinion, is going to be the stock uh, compared to the front end of the real one, so we'll do that. Uh, rear panel. Now, this one is a bit of a toss up, honestly. I'm going to go through all of them here so you guys can see. Um, you can really, I mean, you can go with either the mask panel, the black mask panel, or of course the uh, stock. Those are going to be the closest options there, even if you do this one. Um, but uh, to me, honestly, because the thing about the mask panel um, is that it, it does kind of square off the tail lights. And if you look at the real car, you can see the tail lights are sort of squared off as well. However, there is a larger like red housing around that. So the tail light is one big piece instead of just those little squares. To me, it just looks a bit strange on this car. Um, and honestly, I, th I think it's better to have the larger lights, even though they are round uh, of, of the stock tail lights. So that's what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna keep the stock. Uh, continuing to engine, engine tunes, we'll max that out. Um, engine cover. Now, the closest is going to be right here the vented cover. Um, the real one does look a bit different compared to this, but again, this will be the closest out of all of the ones that we have available. Um, exhaust. Now, this one, <laughs> this one's pretty crazy. The real Cannonball Run Countach had like 12 exhaust pipes. It was really wild and out there obviously they wanted to make it as crazy looking as possible even though the car itself did all the crazy for you but I guess they wanted to make it even more over the top um, but yeah obviously we don't have that in GTA it would have been a nice reference though but we don't um, so I think the closest to go with is gonna be the chrome exhaust here um, hood this one um, it's not only hood upgrades but also the famous front spoiler which was on the cannonball run Countach so <laughs> perfect we're gonna do that um, continuing to lights you're gonna leave that stock even though I think white lights or yellow will be the best from the arena or the LS car meet um, plate so the real car it had a Florida plate and it was HNV 912 
So for those of you who want to do that, you can. Um, obviously, Rockstar still hasn't updated the, well, they haven't given us a new way to do custom plates because they disabled iFruit and we still don't have that method. So um, yeah, I'm going to go with the generic plate that I have here. And in terms of the, the plate type, I think the closest is going to be the blue and white one because of the fonts, the San Andreas fonts, yeah. instead of the cursive script like this. So we'll do that. Um, in terms of the color, so of course you can go to classic, just throw a black on there, that works perfectly. Um, or if, you, if you're in my crew and you have the crew black, which is a bit darker, you can see the difference there. I think the crew black does look a bit better, so we'll do that. Okay. Um, spoiler upgrades. Okay, so you have the famous classic spoiler, which is the Kuntar spoiler. Obviously, you don't want um, the classic and lip. You don't, you don't want the lip. You just want the classic uh, spoiler right here. Of course, the Cannonball Run Kuntash did have both the this rear spoiler and, of course, the front one. So very cool there. Suspension. So the um, Cannonball Run Kuntash actually sat pretty low. Um, it didn't sit that high. So I think we're going to go with the competition suspension there. Um, so that's perfect. Transmission, we'll max that out. Turbo, we are going to skip so we don't have the turbo noise. Wheels, um, I've gone through all the wheels. The closest is going to be the stocks. I do wish they had more of like a, a deep dish sort of maybe concave look to them like the real ones. But this is the best we got. Um, I mean, I, I think it's good enough, honestly. It would be nice if we had another option, though, but... These are fine, even though they do have the chrome lip. The other ones were like the full, sort of like silver alloy color. But anyways, stock for that. Windows. Now, in the movie, I think it was because of a stunt driver that was driving the Countach. I guess they wanted to mask him because it was supposed to be two women driving the Countach. Um, so I guess they did put like super dark tints on it. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. Throw the limo tints on there. I think it's the most accurate. Like I mentioned earlier in the respray category, um, the Torero does come standard with a black interior. However, if you merge a car that has a trim color interior option onto the Torero, then it will transfer that as well. So that's the method um, to do that. Obviously, I don't endorse glitches, but I mean harmless merge glitches. Rockstar doesn't really care. You can, you can get away with it. So I have a merged uh, sandy brown interior in here, for those of you wondering, to get the closest to the real car, which actually does have like a light, uh, very, very light brown interior. So looks fantastic. All right. So I think we're done with the build there, right? Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and take it for a drive. Exit to ground. All right. Oh, yeah. Looks fantastic. Very nice interior. I do love how Rockstar did this interior. They actually made it pretty similar to the real one. Um, I believe this is uh, an exclusive interior because the Infernus Classic interior looks different. The Viserys interior looks different as well. Um, maybe, maybe the Ardent might be close to this, but that boxy uh, gauge cluster area is like... <laughs> it literally super reminiscent of the actual Countach. I think it's I think it's exclusive to this car. I don't think I don't think all these details are in any other car. These specific details that is, but very very cool. So obviously the Torero. For those of you who don't know, it is very very nice driving car. Believe it or not, for some reason it actually handles a little bit better than the Infernus Classic, and it's a, it's slightly faster on most tracks uh, with turns than the Infernus Classic. So keep that in mind there for those of you who didn't know. Um, and I mean, it, it drives nice. I do prefer the exhaust note of the Infernus Classic over this one. That's one of the main things there. Um, but overall, it's a nice car. Oh, and, and also the seats. I'm not I'm not too much of a fan of these like sports seats they threw in here. Like they spent so much time and effort making this interior and then Thank you. And then <laughs> and then they were like, let's throw these modern sports seats in here. It really just makes no sense to me, but more Rockstar logic there. Alright, let's let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff here. Cannonball, cannonball. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Vehicle doors. I wonder what will happen with that front spoiler. It might not let us open the front. I don't even know how this is going to work. Let's see. 
Oh, it comes up with it. Okay, that's kind of cool. There's the front compartment there. Love the doors. Look at that. So cool. Now, the real Kuntosh, the doors kind of open straight up. Like the... I believe the Infernus Classic has them like that. Uh, but for some reason on the Terrero, they kind of open like up and to the side. Almost like a butterfly door, which is kind of weird. But the interior, again, does look fantastic. It got the gated manual in there. Pegasi on the floor mats. I mean, it is so well done, except the seats. <laughs> except the seats, but the rest of it looks fantastic. This doesn't open. Huh, I did not know that. It might be because of a spoiler, possibly. Even though I don't think so. Wow, that, that kind of sucks. So you, like, you hide the engine, and I guess you can't, can't open it. Hood. It, it, it makes the sound, but nothing happens. Uh, so this is trunk, right? Yeah, that closes. And then hood. Oh, oh okay, Rockstar. Yeah, it probably has something to do with a spoiler. I think that's what's breaking it there, but that's, that's kind of funny. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Cannonball Run Countach build. I, I love this one. That, that movie is, for those of you who haven't seen it, Highly recommend watching it. If you look hard enough on YouTube, you'll find people that have uploaded clips and put together the entire movie with like 20 different videos. But <laughs> you can find it. It's it, it's a it's a great great movie. Burt Reynolds is in it. Um, I mean, it's just it's fantastic and a bunch of other actors as well. I'm not going to spoil it, but um, yeah, very well made. Uh, a lot of people say it's 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 a bit cheesy in some aspects and. But I think it's just, the purpose of this movie was to be a, a fun and entertaining movie to watch. And I think it definitely succeeded in that. But anyways, guys, definitely let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.